Danica Patrick recently revealed her ordeal with breast implants and whether they may have made her sick. Let's get to the bottom of it. Danica Patrick is the most successful woman in the history of American open car racing. And on top of this, her grace and her style is well known throughout the world. Now she shared on her Instagram that she underwent a breast augmentation in November of 2014. The surgery went well and she was really happy with the results. And here's a photo of her from 2013 before she had implants. And here's a photo of her from 2019 after she had implants. As you can see, she's beautiful with or without the implants. Now in 2018, Danica began to notice that her hair wasn't as healthy as it used to be. She started noticing that it was breaking off and she also started noticing that she gained a few pounds and wasn't able to get rid of them. In 2020 is when she really started noticing some issues with her health. She saw some doctors and they had a lot of different findings and there's a list that she shared on her Instagram right here and I'm just gonna read a few of them. Hypothyroidism, hypoglycemia, low estrogen, temperature sensitivity, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, dry scalp, dry skin, weird perspiration, weird smell sometimes, achy hands from time to time, and a bunch of other symptoms. So what is going on? Well, I've been performing breast augmentation for the past 20 years, and the dogma in plastic surgery has always been that breast implants are safe and they don't cause systemic symptoms, symptoms like Danica has had in the past. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, there was a huge controversy around breast implants, and a lot of women believed at that time that their breast implants were making them sick. And so the FDA reacted to this by putting a moratorium on silicone breast implants. They only allowed silicone breast implants to be used in certain FDA-approved studies. Now these studies appear to show that silicone breast implants are safe. So in 2006, the FDA lifted the moratorium on silicone breast implants, allowing them to be used in the United States once again. Now I should share that during this time, silicone breast implants were used through most other countries throughout the world. Now after the moratorium was lifted, the numbers of breast implant surgeries went way up and became the number one cosmetic surgery throughout the United States. Plastic surgeons were happy, implant companies were happy because they were selling a lot of breast implants, and most patients were really happy because honestly, silicone breast implants feel and look much more natural than the alternative, which are saline implants. But that wasn't the end of the story. Over the last several years, there have been groups on Facebook and all over social media of women who are telling their stories of their breast implants making them sick. Now, although there are individual variations with every woman, there are some common threads that go through all of their stories. These women undergo breast augmentation as a way to help themselves feel better about their appearance. Oftentimes, they're initially very happy with the results, but then after several months to several years, they start developing symptoms. And these symptoms range from brain fog, to hair loss, to unexplained rashes, to muscle aches and joint pain, and a whole lot of other symptoms. They often undergo extensive workups from their physicians, and they find that there is no definitive cause for these issues. And this often leaves patients wondering, what the heck is going on in my body? Now Danica reported that she underwent breast implant removal and within just a couple hours she noticed that the dark circles under her eyes had improved and she was feeling better. You can see a photo right up here that she shared and there's a definite change in her appearance. She also felt that it was easier to breathe and that she had an improvement in her energy once again just a few hours after the operation. So what do I, as a holistic plastic surgeon, believe about breast implants? Well, first of all, I believe that breast implants are safe for the vast majority of women. Surveys show over a 95% satisfaction rate with breast implants. However, I do believe that there is a percentage of women that can get sick from their breast implants. And one big problem is that we don't have any studies or science to show us who is at risk of breast implant illness or even what percentage of women who have breast implants develop these types of symptoms. These studies are ongoing. And unfortunately, there are no tests to show whether you have breast implant illness. There's no blood test for it or urine test or anything like that. This is considered a diagnosis of exclusion. The only way to know if you have breast implant illness, if your breast implants are making you sick, is to have the implants removed and to see if you feel better. Now studies show that anywhere from 50 to 85% of women who have symptoms of breast implant illness get better once their implants are removed. And this is a big deal, but unfortunately it's not 100%. There are other causes of symptoms that are consistent with breast implant illness. 
So for these reasons, if you have breast implants and you're feeling sick, you know there's something wrong, you think you may have breast implant illness, the first step is to see your physician and to get a full workup to make sure that there aren't any potential other causes of your symptoms. Now, if you just wanna get rid of your implants, if you decide they're not for you, then by all means, have them taken out. But if you wanna keep your implants, but you're worried that they're making you sick, the first step is to see your doctor and get a full workup. I share more information on breast implant illness on this video right up here, which is a reaction to an episode of Bosch where the celebrity New York had her breast implants removed for breast implant illness. Take a peek at this episode to learn more. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.